Because insurgents and guerrilla fighters can wreak immense havoc both on and off the battlefield, finding effective ways to stop them has been an important goal in many conflicts. In this episode, look at some of the different tactics used to combat insurgents. This is Battlefield 101, Counterinsurgency Tactics. So, picking up the translator here. One of the most unsettling aspects of fighting guerrillas is their ability to blend in with the civilian population and obtain support and supplies from them. This was especially difficult during the Vietnam War. To try to stop the Viet Cong from taking shelter with locals, the South Vietnamese government implemented a form of population control in many small villages. Known as the Strategic Hamlet Program, the goal was to isolate the rural population from contact with the Viet Cong by moving them into secure, fortified communities and providing them with economic support. But while the Strategic Hamlet Program had potential, it ultimately created animosity amongst the villagers, who disliked being forcibly removed from their ancestral homelands. Many of the hamlets also failed to properly secure the villages, which made them lucrative targets for the Viet Cong. As a result of these and other issues, the program was abandoned in 1963. In Iraq, counterinsurgency operations have been critical in areas where guerrilla attacks and IEDs are prominent. Got booster charges over there. In Fallujah, the oil spot strategy was used to help mop up any remaining insurgents after the main battle was over. This tactic involves first establishing a central secure area. Coming in! Then allowing that area to spread out as troops clear and secure additional territory. Although Fallujah had seen some of the bloodiest fighting of the war, the oil spot strategy helped secure the city. Another effective counterinsurgency tactic is air power, and it can be used for several different purposes, including reconnaissance, conventional airstrikes, and psychological warfare. While some have criticized their use in Iraq and Afghanistan, Drones, such as Reaper and Predator, have played a valuable role in providing intelligence and airstrikes, while also keeping U.S. troops out of harm's way. Additionally, aircraft such as the A-10 Thunderbolt II have provided effective air support while also creating an immense psychological effect by evoking panic amongst the surgeons. Confirm laser code 1121. Tell me what's your name? Michael. Nice to meet you, Mike. Secure the vehicle. Man the 5th Cal. Not all counterinsurgency tactics involve combat. During the war in Iraq, public diplomacy was a favorite tactic of General David Petraeus. The picking up translator here. Based largely around education, the goal of public diplomacy is to teach troops about the culture where they are stationed. Hello. So that they may understand how to interact with the locals, as well as how the insurgents interact with them. Which house? I don't know, but uh, the place. Counterinsurgency is a multifaceted strategy that uses several different tactics. So what tactic or combination of tactics do you think is most effective? What types of new tactics or strategies do you think should be developed? Post your thoughts and opinions below.